What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. Well, guys, today we got the fourth video. And yes, before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button because today we got market crash. We got the huge market crash. We're going to go over everything you guys should be doing right now. As you can see, my MT is definitely lower from yesterday. Um, these packs are the worst packs ever, so don't pop those. Before we get into it, make sure to drop a like, drop a sub, and all that good stuff. Um, let's make sure to follow my Twitter down below for MT. I'm selling MT on Xbox if you guys do want. Um, so make sure to hit me up. But yo, these are the worst packs ever. These are the worst packs ever. I pulled 10, 100k down. They are the worst packs I've ever pulled in my whole entire NBA 2K20 career. Oh my goodness, they're terrible. So please don't waste your MT on these. Like, they're so garbage. Let's go over the market. I'm going to talk about a lot of things. So, first off, man, market is somewhat rising opal wise. Because if you guys remember, yesterday the market died. I mean, died, died. Like I said, man, the market is going to crash when YouTubers release videos of the content prior. So, if you guys do not know, yesterday the content kind of got leaked out. Everybody dropped in price. Like, I'm talking about thousands. Opal Ben Simmons Evo was around 400k. He's rocking around 600,000 MT. So, a lot of cards rose and dropped yesterday. Um, obviously, it's still crashed, but not as crashed as yesterday. Some cards, at least. Um, all I'm going to say is that Manu Bowl is the best center in the game and if you need a center he has like a 50 speed no 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 this guy is so freaking tall and lanky he rolls around the court in seconds like i i if you don't believe me go check out my gameplay this card is amazing and if you need him you guys should probably hop on these night filters bro pink diamond um fan favorites bro this night filter is gonna be really money this card is really money. I love this card. My new bull pink diamond is a G, bro. He's probably going to rock around 80K for most of the time. But uh, let me show you what's going on with the market and stuff. Right now, man, pretty much since they just dropped a ton of new centers, all the centers prices are going to be really cheap. This Brian Scalabrine is actually really good. I'm considering using him. What's his defense? He's not too bad. What's his speed? 85 speed kind of kills the car at power forward. But, uh, yo, fan favorites, pink diamond. Um, yeah, this filter's really, really good. You could possibly get Brian Scalabrini, Manu Ball. What's the other card? Oh, it's just those two pink diamonds. The Taco Fall, the Caruso, and the Bull Ball. Let's check out those prices. Let's see, because honestly, I'm not totally a fan of these cards. I don't know. Bull Ball is only 7 2. Like, if you really think about it, bro, does he have Hall He has Hall of Fame range, though, I believe, right? Does he have Hall of Fame range or am I stupid? Doesn't he have Hall of Fame range extender? Or am I that dumb? He has Hall of Fame range. I don't know why I can't see it. Was it one of the first bad areas? Hall of Fame range. So this card's only 7-2 though. I mean, I, th I thought he was taller. But yo, Taco Fall isn't that good. In my opinion, I think this card's straight trash. 78-3. I mean, he's 7-5. He, I don't know, dude. Manu Bowl 7 7, and he could shoot better, and he's probably going to be $300,000, $400,000 cheaper. Um, I don't know. It's up to you guys, but let's get in some market, bro. Let's get in some snipe filters, because obviously, if you guys don't know, there's a free Opal on TTO boards. Make sure to go check that out. Bro, the Diamond Boba Mar Marianovic is probably going to be really cheap, and I think he's going to be a really good investment. I mean, thousands of people are pulling these packs. And honestly, I'm not one of them. I mean, I mean, obviously I did. But yo, this Bobon might be a really good investment. Let's check out his price. This card is so damn good. And honestly, you might be able to snipe him a ton. 
So 27K, he could shoot. He's 7'3". He's going to lock up most of the tall centers in the game. I think ah, it's a snipe. 27-something looks like a snipe to me. Um, these cards, all the new cards that just dropped, you kind of want to try sniping them out. Because honestly, you're probably going to get a ton of snipes. Before, I was making a ton of money off Manute Bowl. I was refreshing, getting them for 50K or 60K and reselling them for 75K. And he would sell in one second. If you have the MT to do so... All the new cards that are spam, that are buyout, are so worth buying and flipping in seconds, bro. They sell so fast. So let's see if in this video I can make a lot of MT off this. Right now, man, all those cards that I told you to sell yesterday or the day before, all right there. That's a good one. Missed it. Um, All those cards that I told you to sell, you didn't listen. That's that's not my fault, bro. You took a fat L if you didn't listen to me. Uh, I told you to sell cards Thursday, Wednesday. Um, to, Pretty much if you didn't listen to me. It sucks for you, man. It sucks for me. I didn't even listen to myself. Um, I mean, I didn't want to sell my Opals, though. I feel like selling Opals is so risky, so I kind of stayed back. But, bro, all you guys that did not listen to me, you guys should have. Because every single card is actually down a lot. Um, a lot, a lot. So, if you didn't listen to me, it's not my problem. I'm sorry. Every card is down. Tyler Hurrow's a 150K. He's not at buyout. Let's check the Spotlight Sims, bro. Um, those were down a ton yesterday. Oh, Tyler Hurl's back at bid? No way. I know Gallinari's probably the only one that isn't at bid. Every other card's back at bid. Market little rose a little bit because I know yesterday the market prematurely crashed like crazy. And if you guys did not take advantage, like I said, bro, Paul George was around 110k. KD was around 130. Pretty much every pink diamond was almost cut in 20%, 30%. And it's just a lot to talk about. I'm honestly super hyped. Galaxy Global Snipe Filter should be popping. This sim is just sold for 560. I got mine for 480. He's honestly, I think after a couple weeks, he will go up. He's still the most dominant point guard in the game. As well as some glitch players. Some glitch players I want you to uh, pay attention to, bro. Obviously, Giannis. This Snipe Filter. Uh, J.R. Smith for 100k is not a bad price. I feel like LeBron. If you guys want to get LeBron, you get him for 200k or under... Like you probably could got him, you probably could have got him for like a hundred something k yesterday, and it's crazy because he's literally the best point guard in the game. Oh, uh, not the best point guard in the game. One of the best point guards that probably could only stop Giannis and Simmons, probably LeBron. So he's probably the cheapest route to stop them, and I really recommend you definitely try doing that. Um, we also got the J.R. Smith and the Ben Simmons, obviously, but I don't think they could stop them. Nowhere near. They cannot stop Giannis and them. Um, I want to try out this J.R. Smith card. Not totally sure how I feel about it. But 90k is obviously really good. Just doesn't really have good defense. But uh, right now, I'm kind of just sitting here honestly confused. Um, at this point, you can pretty much invest in anything. Isaac Bunga is the biggest troll, supposedly. Honestly, I haven't even pulled him. Um, supposedly, you get him in every pack. I have not yet to see him in any pack. So, whoever pulled him, I guess, congrats. This Jahil Okafor is so cheap. And honestly, I don't see anybody rising right now. Pretty much, man. I would just recommend investing in the new Boban or sniping them out. Pretty much snipe out the new cards. Invest in low diamonds. Like low cost diamonds. Maybe like, I don't know, a Giannis. I don't know, man. Like a lot of low cost diamonds. Jay Williams and stuff like that. Let me see. Brian Scalabrine is probably going to continue to drop. I can see Manu Bowl going for 100k again because Manu Bowl is such a good card. I literally had gameplay on it. He went off. And I just really recommend you guys try that card out. Other than that, man, there's not really that much to do. Other than obviously snipe uh, on the market with the Opals, snipe onto this. Invest in some cards. But honestly, the market crash was mostly yesterday. Obviously, it still crashed. But right now, I'm just going to say try to snipe out a ton of new cards for the content because that's where all the money is. That's where I will be making most of my MT. Sitting on the new bowl filter because he's literally the best center in the game for cheap. So, yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys need some MT, make sure to hit me up on Xbox. Please let me know down below. I will definitely hit you up. I'll give you the deal. I'll give me that. There we go. We got one snipe on the new. We're going to make a quick 4K in seconds. How much is he? 74 73.9. So I'm going to put him up for 73. We're going to make about 3K MT in about one second. So yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one. Peace.